action. Welcome to another episode of Bashley. This is... I'm Ben. And I'm Ashley. Hi. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Hopefully good. I don't know how they'll be doing after this, so... Why? We're going to talk about recurring dreams. <laughs> so... I have this like recurring dream. I always have this dream that I like, um, like pee myself <laughs> or like I'm peeing my pants. I have that dream so much. You know how people- She told me about this and I want to know if that's normal because I don't think it's normal. I don't have that. <laughs> but I'm peeing I've my never pants. I've never I don't think I've ever- You haven't? No, I have. When I was a kid and I used to wet the bed. But I, I don't wet dream. the bed, <laughs> but I just keep doing I keep having that dream though. How, is that- what? That's like sneezing with your eyes open. That's kind of weird. How do you how do you dream that you pee your pants and not wet the bed? Fuller, go easy on the Pepsi. Wasserfest der Unterhosen für Erwachsene. You just don't. Well, here's what happens sometimes. Sometimes I have that dream and I just goes on, and sometimes I have that dream and I wake up and I have to go to the bathroom. That's what happens sometimes. You have it because you have to go to the bathroom, but you somehow like, have the subconscious self-control to keep that from... 98% of the time I wake up and have to go to the bathroom, but sometimes I don't. Like 2% of the time I just go on with my dream. Like I had that dream last night. Literally I had that dream last night. Don't you my pants. Wor I would worry <laughs> in the dream. I would worry that <laughs> that I was... That I had. If I... I don't know. I wouldn't be able to stay asleep. I... <laughs> I think I have, may, maybe I have had a dream, I don't know, I had to go, and I was worried, and I woke up to make sure, and I hadn't, and I was happy. <laughs> but you were a kid, though. I'm having these as, like, a grown adult, these type of dreams. It's kind of strange. I think it's probably some kind of psychological defect. Oh, oh thanks, Ben. <laughs> it's something. Like you. It could be something. Thank you, I'm weird. Well, the, the, the only recurring dream I have now, and I've looked this up on online because that's what everybody does if they have enough worry about something. I had dreams after a breakup. I've had it several times. It's like up on one of the sides of these mountains. You're, you're on this very high mountain. You can see down below is the ground, but then as you, you go kind of, kind of over the edge and it gets steeper and steeper to like where you're kind of on the edge. If you go further, you'll I'm gonna fall. push you off. And I am deathly afraid of heights. Thank I don't. So much. I am afraid of heights ever since as a kid we visited the Grand Canyon. I've just kind of got that. Wait, that's um, where it started? You visited the Grand Canyon? You got scared of heights? When I was little, my dad bought a camera. He would film just then about get everything. get back up on the rock where you can see over the rail. Maybe I liked it then and now I don't. I don't know. But I had this dream over and over again. And it was just very scarier than it ought to be. Um, and I looked it up online and it said that something about high places being uh, indicative that you feel like you have no control over your life. I guess I felt that way because things didn't go the way I had hoped. So the question I have is, is your peeing, peeing your pants, pants dream <laughs> attached to any kind of situations I that you can know. go, this happens when I feel this, this way. way not. To see urine or going to the toilet to urinate in your dream is relatively common. It signifies that you're feeling your ego is being challenged as well as your pride. Dreaming of urine in general means that your life is going out of control in some way. From antiflow.com. Get it? Uh, uh, uh. Is it? I probably or is it just that? I'm going to have that dream again because it's entertaining. No, I hate having that dream because then there's always that fear like, did I actually pee, my pee the bed? And I never do. Would you classify it as a nightmare? No. You wouldn't? No, it's not a nightmare. I don't think it's a nightmare. I don't wake up I like, would classify scared. me on the edge of that cliff as a nightmare. I classify my other dream where I, my sisters were getting dragged off by lions and tigers as a nightmare. those stop what have you you still have those i had that dream just recently and my sister's really dragged away by lions and tigers i read a book about that 
by a guy named Peter Hathaway Capstick. Excellent Capstick. book. Interesting last it's a name. cool name. And he's a bush hunter in out in Africa. And he writes these books about killing lions that are trying to eat people. So he gets called in to kill the lion or the leopard or the crocodile or the hippo what about the or pig? whatever it is. Uh, there was no pig that was eating people. Pigs don't eat people. But there were a lot of African animals killing people. It was a cool book. I recommend it. Death in the Long Grass. You got to check it out. Weird name. Um, weird name. It's death in the long grass. You're in Africa. <laughs> There's long grass and people die. It's what it... Don't go into the long grass! Not into the long grass! <laughs> I have dreams about food a lot. <laughs> Are you enjoying this episode of the Bashley Vlog? If so, please subscribe and make a comment. Tell us about your recurring dreams and click here to watch part two. If you can't click here, it's because it isn't up yet. So stop trying. Go take a nap and try to enjoy someone else's recurring dream. Good night, everyone. This has been the Bashley Vlog.